Hey everybody, Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. 2019, what a year for the Oasis of the Seas from the outhouse to the penthouse. Let's review. Thanks for joining me and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for giving my videos thumbs ups, everybody. I really appreciate it. And join us December 2020 for our first ever group cruise. Amber and Travel is going to handle all the details for us. All the information is down below. We're going from Port Canaveral to Coco Cay, St. Kitts, and St. Thomas. Now let's talk about 2019 and the Oasis of the Seas. The ship was having engine troubles. She went to the Bahamas to get worked on on an emergency one-week dry dock, and disaster happened here. The ship slipped off her keel mounts, and she tilted to one side, destroyed the dry dock. A crane came crashing over the back of the ship, and what a mess we had here. There were eight injuries, too, on that uh, that fateful day. The ship went to Cadiz, Spain. Look at the scar on the side of the ship there. Look at that. She went into dry dock. Her engines got worked on. They prettied up the ship as much as they could. It cost the cruise line at least $50 million to do the repair. They lost five weeks of cruising, but they got the ship into the Mediterranean for the summer. Now, this past November, the ship was brought back to Cadiz for a scheduled dry dock. $165 million of scheduled work. And boy, was the Oasis ever transformed. Formed. She had a brand new slide added to her on the back end. She had additional repairs done from the damage uh, back in the Bahamas. She had brand new water slides added. A whole new pool deck was uh, done. All the rooms were heavily refurbished, including televisions everywhere were replaced. All the electronic speakers replaced. It was a ton of work. But it got uh, beautifully finished on time. 42 days, $165 million, 6,000 workers going 24-7 to get the Oasis of the Seas back under the water on time. She is now back in Florida beginning her winter cruise runs and the ship was given uh, an award this week. The uh, critics uh, over at Cruise Critic, the editors, voted the ship the refurbishment of the year. And I was thinking about this going, well, when you spend $50 million on an emergency refurbishing and then you spend $165 million on a regular refurbishing, you're dropping $215 million. If that doesn't make this ship the refurbishment of the year, I don't know what would make this the refurbishment of the year. But the good news is it's all done. It worked out. The ship looks great. You'll see here momentarily some of the uh, closer views of what was done to the ship from the back end. Look at the massive slide that has been added there. Now this ship basically looks like the symphony and harmony of the seas. You can see the water slides here right at the bottom of the, of the screen. Those were all added in. A second level on the bridge deck was added. You can see there a twin level on the bridge. That was added. There are new suites on the front end of the ship, panorama suites. Uh, but I'll tell you, folks, this was a heck of a year for the Oasis of the Seas. The next ship to go in is the Allure of the Seas. I don't think it's going to be quite as dramatic, but the result should be just as spectacular. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. Have a good one. Bye for now.